Hello everyone. Are you able to hear me? Loud and clear. Good. Thank you so much. I'm having uh, in in my laptop the Zoom virtual background is not working since I've used my phone. So that's why I just asked whether you're able to hear me. So welcome to this panel discussion today. Uh, we are having a panel a panel discussion with five different people from five different walks of life, some of them even from different countries, to discuss with you about what are the benefits of joining Toastmasters? What did they learn after joining Toastmasters? So introduce my panelists. The youngest one, Nitish, he is a student at Hindustan Institute of Technology. And he's pursuing his aeronautical engineering. He admires Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. So now you know why he chose aeronautical engineering as his course of study. So that is Toastmaster Nitish for you. I would request the Zoom masters to spotlight Nitish and the other panelists as I introduce them. So thank you so much, Zoom master. So the next panelist is Toastmaster Kavita. She's a wonderful teacher. And even more passionate member, she has joined our club very recently. Only by May, she has joined us. She is working in one of the leading education institutions of Tamil Nadu, that is PSBB Millennium School, Girgambakam. PSBB is a brand in itself. So PSBB Millennium Schools, uh, there are branches all over, and you might have heard about that as well. So I would now request the Zoom master to spotlight Toastmaster Kavita. Yes, uh, I'm not able to see her, but I'm assuming that uh, Satya sir, are you able to see Toastmaster Kavita? Yes, ma'am. She's uh, okay. spotlighted. Okay, sure. Because I'm able to see you only right now on my screen. The next person I would like to introduce is Toastmaster Seminar. Toastmaster Seminar joins us from UK. Yes, you heard it right. International, UK. She has done her MBA. She was working in UK in administration. And recently, in order to take care of her family, she has taken a break, career break, in order to focus on her young daughter, who's only eight years old. And I want to give a special applause to Toastmaster Seminar because only a few days back, in fact, a week back, she was suffering from COVID. Despite that, she is here with us on this panel. That is her spirit. That is her commitment. She says yes, and she is there. So I request all of you to give a round of applause to Simna because uh, it is tremendously difficult to join when you're sick, but she doesn't back off from her commitment. The next person on the panel is Toastmaster Satya Gila. All of you know her as the VP Ed, because she calls you, I think every week she calls, can you take this role? Or if you want to get a speed slot, not just in Dynamic Leaders Forum, anywhere in Toastmasters in the world, Toastmasters Satya Gila will help ensure that you get a speed slot. And I request Zoom Master to spotlight Toastmasters Satya. Actually, I'm able to see Toastmasters Satya Narayan only, so it may be my device issue. If you are all able to see Toastmaster Satya Gila, Toastmaster Semina, Toastmaster Kavita, Toastmaster Nitish, please type yes in the chat window. Thank you so much. So Toastmaster Satya Gila, we all know she won second prize in international speech contest at division level. In a division which spans from Nagakoi till Chennai. In such a particular division, she stood Second, that too in just her first attempt. Can you believe that? That is Toastmaster Satya Gila for you. She is also a gold medalist uh, and she used to work at a college. Uh, right now, she is part of Success E-Learning as, as an educator. Next, we move on to a manager. But to call him a manager would actually be, I would say, gross injustice because Toastmaster Irshad, who is the past president of Toastmasters Club at Accenture, manager at Accenture, cannot be just described as a manager. 
he is a person i admire for his persuasion and influencing skills his wife is a well renowned uh, speaker coach in tamil nadu and even in india now global she is one of the global ambassadors but when i say she is a best seller if her book is a best seller i would say toastmaster irshad is the root cause because toastmaster irshad went and literally persuaded odc and landmark and many other leading bookstores to keep a copy of his wife's uh, book along with the you know the latest book which were you know like famous people like shashi tharoor shobade along with that he ensured that his wife's book was kept there and that really catapulted that book to that sell uh, best seller list so now you can understand how uh, how much of an intelligent leader those master shed is how much is his persuasion and influencing skill in fact now his latest hobby is you know, designing buildings he is actually into architecture he's uh, he's actually along with his job in actually he's also building a house if you have any suggestions about for organic farming or ar- architecture you can actually send it to irshad or you can have a good discussion with him so now you know the vibrant panel so i hope all of you can see toastmaster nitish toastmaster semina toastmaster kavita toastmaster satyagla and toastmaster irshad so now time to start uh, the discussion so are you ready are you ready i'll start yes. only type yes in the chat you know okay so thank you so much so let's start with whom shall i start i am not going to start in the order i introduced i am going to start straight away with toastmaster irshad yes in the reverse order so let's start with toastmaster irshad so we all know toastmaster irshad uh, if you must can spotlight toastmaster irshad that will be really great i am able to see satya agla right now so toastmaster irshad the question to you is this everyone knows about toastmasters international that it it helps improve it helps improve your leadership and communication skill people think it's all about public speaking but you and me know very well that is not even the tip of the iceberg it's all about certain other skills i want you to describe in 2 minutes what were your takeaways and how did you use those masters to help persuade all those you know bookshops and all those people you know he, he connects with vips and persuades them to come for his business events etc how do you do that he's also a coach at landmark so Toastmaster Irshad, the question is to you. What skills did you pick up from Toastmasters? Yeah, thank, thank you, Toastmaster Manju. So at the moment, you know, somebody asked me, like, you know, I need to be there in the panel discussion. My immediate thought was that I had not even reached that uh, area level. And still, I have been using a lot of filler word. That is what, you know, my mind went in. But when I tuned my mind, hey, Irshad, just calm, calm down. what exactly you know you got it i cannot differentiate myself from my family and toastmasters so it's all like you know uh, joined together let me give a little background you know so that like you know you'll know that what i gained you know from toastmasters when i returned back from us the challenge was that you know my son was not interacting with people socializing like my like father and uh, my wife you know did not know what career to choose you know so difficult uh, situation you know we came in and uh, after came into toastmasters and uh, my son you know he is a humorous speech champion and my wife you know she is really established well and i have been doing you know apart from my job in you know, a more than 3c uh, project in you know, uh, executing in uh, in 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 this year so coming back to what exactly you know, i gain in toastmaster is not only coming and delivering speech and hearing whenever somebody speak am i that person that is what in you know, i look at when when toastmaster manju says that this is what the person i am then i go and look at hey if toastmaster manju can do that why can't i do that so my personality got changed the way you know, i connect with people the way you know, i expand myself not looking at you know this is what you know what i will get back you know something i may reach out to uh, area level or something that is immaterial but what i gain is like the the better version of me again and again it's more of like sizzling through you know so that is what and uh, 
like others you know i was also uh, went back went out you know from toastmaster then i saw that no this is not the place and i came back and i uh, see i rejuvenated myself this is the place you know what to be in in short you know this is what i every day and you know, i look at you know how i can be like in you know, a better and better Thank you so much, Tosma Sirshan. We must give a big round of applause because he finished that sharp two minutes. Two minutes. Team management, commitment, dedication. There are so many other things that you can learn from Tosma Sirshan. But like Tosma Sirshan said, be a better version of yourself. Fantastic. I think no one could have said it better. When Tosma Sirshan International said, where leaders are made, I think this is what they meant. Where? you become a better version of yourself thank you so much toastmaster uh, irshad now we move on to toastmaster satya agila so are you ready ma'am toastmaster yes. satya yes yes ma'am so zoom master kindly spotlight toastmaster satya agila right now yes thank you so toastmaster satya uh, at your maiden uh, maiden attempt right the very first time you went for a speech contest you become a winner at club level then at area level and who want to win at division level uh, competing against eminent speakers from the entire tamil nadu so what, what as in what do you feel toastmasters played what kind of role did toastmasters play in helping you reach that level in just less than a year the so toastmaster satya gla the questions to you thank you oh, thank you thank you for the question so when i started uh, my uh, journey in toastmasters i gave my first speech in my club which is the icebreaker speech do you know where did i give uh, give my second speech my second speech is like a, a test speaker in a first club which is uh, formed in uh, tamil nadu which is dhc chennai i went as a test speaker and not one evaluator two evaluator there are seven to eight evaluators sitting in front of me to check what flaw or your what mistakes are you doing so i was like when i was asked for test speaker i said okay okay yes ma'am i can do it but the thing is when i started preparing for that i said no i want to back off but mentor do you know who's that none other than manju ma'am she pulled me out of that comfort zone she asked me only one question would you like to improve yourself or not i said yes in that case you have to give your speech outside your club and not in your home club i was taken out of my comfort zone in the very first that is in the second speech which i gave so that made me realize that i'm ready to accept my failures only if i fail my favorite quote is abdul kalam's quote never give up if you fail because failures first attempt in learning that's why i learned from my mistakes that evaluations made me or molded me that i can take risk i will fail and i will learn from my failures and another uh, mantra which another mentor taught me is give your best leave your rest that's it i didn't expect that i will win that contest but i contested as a contestant i would like to give my best in that contest that's it i gave my best and rest are all in the jury's hands so in that way toastmasters played a major role in my life that uh, I, i i never expected that i will be a division level winner i never expected it so expect your unexpected in toastmasters over to you anjuma thank you so much ma'am again for completing in just two minutes but you summed it up all well i want to specially thank her mentors actually satya has a, a special thing for us our communication track mentor we all have the name satya so by now you would have guessed who is one of our mentors that is toastmaster satya narayan and then another toastmaster satya who is also a district level winner so basically both our communication track mentors i think special kudos to her to both of them and to toastmaster satya for their effort you know i just pushed her out i just i just knew that she has talent i just forced her to move to the next level that's all i did but all thanks to her communication track mentors toastmaster satya the tmod and toastmaster satya from dxc 
So now we move on to Toastmaster seminar. So Zoom Master kindly spotlight Toastmaster seminar. With Toastmaster seminar, when you joined us, you told that you have studied in a government school and you have difficulty in speaking in English. Those were your exact words. And in fact, I remember you when you were in when you were speaking for the first time in Toastmasters, you had difficulty even speaking for one minute. But in in a year's time, I saw you moving on uh, to taking sessions, education sessions in English at colleges. In fact, you even took a session for B school students uh, at this college at which you did your MBA. So, how did you feel Toastmasters? helped you grow in the last few months that you were with us. First master seminar, over to you. Thank you, Manju ma'am. First of all, you gave me a wonderful introduction about me. Thank you so much. Everybody, good, everybody, good evening uh, and good morning. Here is a morning. I'm so ha happy to be here. My throat is not good, but I'm so, so happy to be here because I have achieved a lot. I have been a member for one year only, but I have been achieved so many things. The main reason for this club, I want to give a great thank to my club because the reason is when I have joined this club, I have, I thought I have a glossophobia. Still, I have, uh, I'm shivering my hand. You can look at my hand, it's, 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 it's still shivering still struggling to speak, but each and every steps, my mentors will be helping. I, I, and I hope they will be helping in my future also. Uh, they helped me a lot. I want to give a great thank to Bro Toastmaster Ashwati Rajan also. Each and every steps, she was stimulating me. You go, Semina, you can do that. You can do that. You don't talk like that. You don't um, struggling like that. You can, you have a chance. Um, and I want to give a great thank to Manju Ma'am also. She, is, uh, she was also so many times. Even though two days before also, she was uh, stimulating me to speaking in this uh, stage. Uh, they make me uh, speak in front of you. Uh, and uh, they are stimulating. They were uh, provoking me to the positive way. Uh, you can do that, Semina. This is your platform. You can do that. Actually, this is not their work, proper work, but they are doing for me. Thank you so much, everyone. And each and every steps I want to, in my growth, in my life, each and every growth uh, Toastmaster Club uh, is supporting me nowadays. So I want to give a great thank to my mentors as well. And uh, this is the right platform if you are a learner. Thank you so much once again to you all. Uh, over to you, Manjil ma'am. Thank you so much. I want all of us to type claps in the chat window. Why? Because she's suffering from COVID. Even now she's not fully recovered. She still has throat pain. But hats off to your dedication. Hats off to your commitment. Hats off to your leadership skills because you never backed off. Anyone else would have said, even for a small fever, we'll say, I'm not well. For COVID, despite suffering from COVID, she still came on stage. Excellent. And hats off to your leadership skills. And people mistake that uh, it's uh, Toastmasters is about grammar. No, Toastmasters is not about grammar. Toastmasters is about improving your confidence, helping you grow to become a better version. And, you know, from uh, being afraid of speaking in public to now speaking to all Britishers, she's, she's holding a job. She was working with UK people and she even... She had B level in British Council English. She's still improving. She says in, in grammar, she will still improve, but she's trying her best. And we are also with her. We want to see her motivate even more college students and people in UK even. So thank you so much, Toastmaster Semina. Now we move on to Toastmaster Kavita. Toastmaster Kavita joined us very recently, only in May. But within short time, she has become like a superstar of this Toastmasters Club. In recent even milestone, even Toastmaster Kavita was all over the place. She had a lot of emotions on her face, body language. I, mean, I don't know what she learned from Toastmasters. So I'm so impressed by her passion, her enthusiasm, and she brings a lot of energy to this club. So Toastmaster Kavita, what has been your learning after joining Toastmasters in the last two, three months? You, you are among the newest Toastmaster joinees. So Toastmaster Kavita, over to you. Thank you so much for the wonderful and motivating introduction. I would like to say this was the first thing which got, you know, which attracted me here. 
the first I still remember my first day when I was here, like I was totally lost. And they have given me one uh, in the name of table topic. They have given me one topic and asked me uh, to talk about it. I was like, oh my god, I just joined what to talk, and uh, I was totally blank. And I still now I did not remember what I have spoken. But you know the kind of applause and kind of you know encouragement and appreciation I got. I was really flying. Oh my god, am I really good in speaking? You know, um, I, I I felt the people associated in this team, uh, like my family members, in the first meet itself, I become so comfortable because I have come across people who uh, pinpointed my grammatical errors and pinpointed my uh, mistakes, but no one were there to you know help me to come over it. But here, though I make mistakes. There are people to tell it in a certain way and how, you know, your mother or sister will hold your hand and take you to the next level like that. They will explain it and make us understand how to come over uh, that. And, you know, uh, um, they will craft your speech uh, uh, little bit, little, like they'll give you a mentor. We will have a mentor and it is not that only mentor will help you. Okay, and there is no senior, and he, they have joined one year back, so they are senior and junior, all the thing were there. Like everybody will be in the same meeting, people from different platforms, the career is completely different zone. But our thought here is to develop communication, I mean, the skill development. We are all in the same platform, even though we are from a different uh, zone, uh, career wise. We think alike here and we help each other. And I just wanted to tell you one small example. It's like we all know circus, right? They will do the uh, sky stunts and all. We will be like that. The net will be there uh, at the down. And we can do whatever our creativity. We can talk anything. We can do all our stunts. And when we fall down, the people will be like the net. They will not put you down. They will carry you like this. Those masters will carry you and you know make you comfortable and pat at the back. Yeah, come on, come on, go back and do it. So that is how I felt. Thank you so much for the opportunity. I enjoy being here. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Kavita. Toastmaster Kavita told about mentors and you know people supporting each other. You know, that is what I like about Toastmasters. Here we are given feedback to improve, but not like you know, our managers or you know, most of the managers do these are the areas of improvement. They tell it in a very nice manner. They'll say, You're so good, you did these, 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 these things so well. Only one thing if you can improve. That's how they give the feedback. That's what I like. I tell my husband and child also, if I cook also, please tell feedback in Toastmasters way. <laughs> Say it's good, good sabar, good biryani, but the rice was little burnt, which is still okay. <laughs> so unfortunately, outside of Toastmasters, the world is a bit harsh. They just give criticism on criticism. Now we have the youngest panelist, but I would say this is a man to watch out for. Note the name, all of you, Nitish Narsimhan, okay? At 18 years, the day he turned 18, he joined Toastmasters. And when he joined itself, I could see that he was very good at persuading, influencing. So I'm only just going to watch, you know, 10 years from now, where he will be. Because with all the gyan that he's learning, he's getting mentored by all seniors and he is bringing so much energy, so much passion to this. In fact, he is the one who gets the award for bringing maximum number of guests to Toastmasters Club meeting. Any meeting, you will see four or five from Nithi's side. How does he persuade? He persuades his mother's cousin to come. You know, he calls his relatives, friends, everyone. And he is also a key member of his college uh, group. He went and gave session in uh, some forum which had almost 1,000 people. He actually spoke about the benefits of joining Toastmasters. So this is a simple task. He's also interested in web designing. So future astronautical engineer, watch out for this name 10 years, 20 years from now. If you see Nitish Narasimham, remove, uh, so remember this face but with hair. He has uh, somehow, you know, I don't know, he has done something, maybe he went to a temple or something. So, Nitish, what did you learn after joining Toastmasters? Okay. Uh, thank you, Manju, ma'am. So, actually, my, um, uh, the, my, the main reason joining Toastmasters was Ashwati, ma'am, and Manju, ma'am. 
uh, i know ashwati both ashwati ma'am and manju ma'am for past uh, around it's been 7 years so the uh, i joined my eighth so from eighth itself i know both of them so ma ashwati ma'am was my biology professor as well in my school mm, we used to have a gavel club in my uh, school and my sister used to come and say i was a table topic master today like she used to do bow bow and all so i used to ask uh, which classes on all only till 7th standard so i was at 12th at that time so i used to ask manju ma'am man will i be able to join uh, she told like you are in 12th standard so your head dean won't accept you joining a <clears throat> uh, uh, gavel club no so i was just waiting so by the time i was waiting i completed my 12th standard and uh, when i was in my holiday 12th holiday uh, ashwati ma'am told me that we started a uh, our own club in uh, here with the manju ma'am i asked her ma'am at least now will i be able to join you have to turn 18 okay let me turn 18 and i thought i'll wait till um, uh, july 11 so exactly july 12th i, I joined the toastmasters club i gave the application and uh, by august i started attending the meeting so the day i started attending the meeting uh, the first meeting was not uh like a professional one i enjoyed the first meeting after that it was like uh, it start it started it started asking me okay uh, you came here what you have to do so i my like i uh, without not noticing anything i directly went and asked ashwati ma'am i'll take a pppr role ma'am so i want to uh, i'll start, start uh, working on posters all those things so she also told okay you can start working on those and all those things so as of uh, as a continuation of that i started working on a website also for our club separately so any, anyway uh, either uh, big clubs okay a started new started club should uh, go in a right path in a slow manner i thought okay we can, if we step a bit forward before other clubs we we thought okay we will stand apart from other clubs in d120 so uh, the way i started it uh, i started even doing different kind of logos and still now i am working on a uh, new logo for division 120 vbpr team uh, personally told by arun kumar sir uh, he is a area director so i asked he told your video skills are very good so will you i will take you inside d120 vbpr team itself so this was one of the major thing i got so other than this why i asked my friends my relatives to join was i was good at speaking english what i usually do is i usually forget the words okay i'll be i'll i'll be trying to say something you might have noticed now itself like i was coming to say something and i forgot the word so mostly to keep remembering that word because for every exam of college the key word is the thing they are asking okay if you give this word you will get this one mark if you are not going good going to give this word you go lose your marks and go home tata bye bye so to keep the key words remembering what i usually do is um, the grammarian used to give a word of the day right i usually write it down in a pa- in uh, my sticky note and i just keep it in my uh, computer so i'll try inculcating the same word in my speech but i'll try some space but i won't get the word to keep at that appropriate uh, space to space in my speech so what i usually do is i'll start doing it by i'll start giving this word to my college club so i was the one who initiated my college club so i yeah. thought okay i'll be able to complete it but um, i need to learn more from this club so that i'll create another atmosphere myself around with students yeah thank you so thank much you, toastmaster thank you so much toastmaster i forgot to mention as soon as he joined the club within one week he started jumping into leadership roles he started creating videos she had started editing videos etc so nitish i request you to turn on your video because it's showing n instead of n n instead of uh, your face yeah thank you so much so kudos to you know, toastmaster nitish and now he's also helping the division so now it's time for rapid fire and please note these are only we we were they were randomly selected okay we just selected people from different age groups different uh, they are having uh, you know, work they are working different different types of career these are only sample because if you ask if i call toastmaster vivek or toastmaster snehalata i mean toast she is actually doctor snehalata or if i call suresh malli or osa actually the answer will be still be the same it's not like we have prepared these people and brought it these questions are not known to them it's a it's a uh, it's a it's a, uh, a totally impromptu session so now i come with the rapid fire so are you all ready so the uh, it goes like this i'll start with kavita who want to seminar satya irshad nitish and we'll keep doing it you have to tell one advantage of toastmasters till we finish this game so after that we we'll go on to audience you can also pass to audience because it is going to check your critical thinking skills critical reasoning skills 
ability to remain calm stress management yes you also learn how to manage stress in toastmasters so let's start with kavita ma'am so toastmaster kavita what is one benefit you have learned from what what is one benefit you had from toastmasters stage fear okay overcoming stage fear toastmasters yes. seminar can't hear you you let on mute yeah all of you can unmute and keep that be better all of you can unmute and keep for some time yeah overcoming glossophobia overcoming glossophobia or fear of public speaking excellent toastmasters satya gila one minute how, how to connect with people easily how to connect with people excellent toastmaster irshad fun fun fantastic <laughs> i thought nitish will tell that answer toastmaster nitish one benefit professionality professionalism okay toastmaster kavita back to you again motivation motivation toastmaster semina leadership skill leadership skill toastmaster satya gila behind the screen empathy very good toastmaster irshad networking networking fantastic toastmaster nitish responsibility okay suresh mali sir toastmaster snehalata toastmaster rosa be ready and toastmaster i am going to ask you next okay so toastmaster kavita again one more skill crafting your speech super toastmaster semina emanating skills super toastmaster satya gila impromptu speaking skills okay uh, toastmaster irshad question of the difference what do you learn in excom You, when you work in executive committee, what is one skill that you pick up? Connect with people. Super. Toastmaster Nitish, XCOM. Benefits of working in executive committee? Time management and uh, team coordination. Super. I'm sure his mom and dad will be thanking him, thanking him for doing uh, joining Toastmasters. Now, Toastmaster Vivek. One benefit. I told you, audience, be ready. I'll have question for you. Yeah, I think it's about uh, taking on additional responsibilities and delivering. Super. Toastmaster also one benefit benefit of joining executive committee member. Planning, planning, planning and prioritization. Fantastic. Toastmaster Snehla or I would say Doctor Snehla. One skill that you picked up from Toastmaster. Can't hear you. So we'll move on to Toastmaster Suresh Mali. Toastmaster Suresh Mali. He is a director. He has worked in uh, industry for twenty to thirty years now, running independent organization, and he's also with NGO Toastmasters. Rishmali, what is one skill that you uh, picked up from Toastmasters? Being positive. Awesome, Toastmasters. Nayanta, are you ready with your answer? I think she's having making more friends. Awesome, mm -hmm. making more friends. I think now you got a. uh I, i i must say we must give a big round of applause to all the people i think special thanks to toastmaster suresh mali sir toastmaster rosa toastmaster vivek and sir because i just pulled them in on the spot so thank you for participating and thank you for being part of this now question to the audience so if uh, i just would like to request the timer do we have time do we have time i'm sharing a screen so this is for the audience you can type in the answer in the chat window what skill does tmi toastmasters international help enhance confidence persuading influencing motivation ability to motivate oneself or others public speaking changing your communication style because that is one thing i learned how to speak to my husband <laughs> how to persuade him because you no know, with my manager manager is very analytical with him if i go and tell story it doesn't work so changing your communication style yes it is it possible i am 42 believe me even today i am learning from each one of you trying to change my communication style because with you may be good at public speaking you can impress 99000 people but you may not be able to influence 10 people around you or maybe 10 people whom you want to impress your manager maybe your teammates that you will learn from those muscles only thing is you need to keep E G O away. Keep your ego away. Like when you enter a house in India, you are asked to put the footwear outside. Likewise, when you enter Toastmasters meeting, put your ego away. You can learn. Trust me, I'm forty two, still learning grey hair. Every day I'm learning new new things. Even from Nitish, every single person I meet. Yes. Thank you so much. I think most of you got the answers right. The last question. I hope the timer is not showing, saying thirty uh, five minutes. Selvi, ma'am, is it thirty-five minutes or do I have uh, the uh, time? I have one more minute. 
one more minute okay okay hurry up hurry up audience please type in panelists also you can type in what are the key benefits of being a toastmasters member from the discussion that you just witnessed i would request all the guests to type in datatrey priya gupta then there was uh, i think someone from kashmir right i saw someone from kashmir so so many people shivagami ma'am please type in yes yeah fantastic fantastic answer having a family away from family break your barrier move forward excellent minus having mentors whenever you are having doubt talk to your mentors you will get some solution and you have choice you can go and select any number of mentors you want it's not satya gila itself i think she has had uh, at least three uh, three or four mentors till now right three or four mentors you can have n number of mentors and mentors give you free 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 mentoring nowhere else in the world you will get it so trust me i am also doing professional mentoring you come to me i'll charge 2000 3000 rupees per hour but in toast masters if you are coming for mentoring it's completely free okay excellent so many good points i think we should we should just create a book about it. we can publish a book together we'll put all the audience members names and say okay this is benefits of toast masters let's publish the book so i think we are ending on time big round of applause to all the panelists once again toast master nitish toast master kavita toast master semina toast master satya gila toast master irshad and special thanks to toast master rosa taima and toast master perath selvi for you know timing and she was gently you know chatting with me and saying manju ma'am it's already 32 minutes 28 minutes thank you so much so thanks to the beautiful audience so supportive so 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 participative so i'm so happy that i joined the meeting today a lot of takeaways for me as well so i hope all of you enjoyed the session if you like the session please type yes in the chat box please type yes in the chat box okay and if you would like to join those masters please contact those masters cyril i'm sure he'll be putting the link for all of you to contact and join those masters because this is one decision i joined those masters 8 years back i never look back even if i don't get that sil sari from my husband for the wedding and say i tell him please pay my toast master fees because i am running a business sometimes i don't have money i say please i don't want diamonds i want i don't want uh, sarees i don't want anything you just pay my toast master fees if i don't have the money to pay because toast master changed my life and next month i'm going to release my first book as well of course inspired by toast master rishad's wife toast master mubin she was the first person i saw a lady writing a book wow and that to face to face she said manji you can do it So I said, okay, fine. I'll do it. At Tosmas, Ashwati also joined him. So if we can do it, we are normal people. If we can join to get Tosmas and transform our lives, you are all better than us. You can become extraordinary by joining Tosmas. With this, and now I would like to hand over the stage back to an extraordinary person who does lot of social service all in silence. Saturday, Sunday, you won't get hold of him. That is Tosmas Satya Narayan, uh, manager, associate director, at cognizant, but. He is known as uh, I would say something like a South Indian version of uh, Doctor Abdul Kalam in the making. Toastmaster Satya, over to you. 